Welcome back. Welcome back, Home Loan Shoppers. How are you doing? Thanks for uh, tuning in once again. If you please uh, reference the uh, course outline next to me here, you will see that we are in Chapter 4, Section 4, Choosing the Companies that You Are Going to Shop At. And this is a really easy uh, section. And then we'll be finished up with uh, Chapter 4. Okay, so uh, remember, we are going to uh, shop at uh, three different companies, one bank, one lender, one brokerage. And the reason we are going to do that is just to make sure that all our bases are covered. So as a reminder, uh, there are some loans that might be done best at a bank. There are some loans that might be done best at a lender. There are some loans that might be done best at a brokerage. And there are some loans where it doesn't matter where you go. It's going to be the same no matter what. But you're not going to find this out unless you explore um, all three of those uh, companies. That's why I have you shopping uh, at one of each. And when I say bank, that could also be your credit union uh, too. So either one uh, bank or credit union, one brokerage, one lender you are going to shop at. Now, um, if you remember, I gave you uh, the tools in section one, two, and three. Remember in section one, uh, that was what to do before you contact them. I gave you uh, some specific items to look out for. And then in section two, uh, what to do during your initial contact uh, with them. Remember, this is an information gathering mission in section two. You are not asking about interest rates and fees at this point. And then in section three, remember, this is what to do after you uh, contact them, which was going on the nationwide mortgage licensing system and doing research on the person that you were talking to and getting a little more information on the company that that person works for because all that information is available to you in the nationwide mortgage licensing system consumer access portal based on those uh based on the uh the, the information in section one two and three you're going to make uh, a selection so say um the bank that you chose was the bank that you currently bank with. Easy peasy. Uh, the brokerage that you chose, uh, you used my suggestion of just going online, doing a local search, typing in, let's say you live in San Diego, you typed in mortgage brokers San Diego, about 11 brokers came up, you accessed their websites, you used the advice that I gave you in section one, which is checking out to see if they have rates posted and, or not, and what type of rates, if they do have them uh, posted, and a couple other tidbits of info, you narrowed it down to one. And there was one that met the requirements. So that's the brokerage that you went with. And then finally, the lender that you are going to shop at is one that was referred to you by a family, family, <laughs> family member. So you've got um, all three of them locked, cocked, ready to go. Now, let me throw in a itsy bitsy curveball. Even though uh, three companies to shop at is not a whole lot. I understand that might be just one too many companies for uh, a few of you out there. I've been working with uh, who knows how many thousands of people over the past 26 years, and I, I, I get it. I learned a lot from you, and I know three companies for a few of you is just too many. You can do this effectively with two companies. Again, I recommend three with my process, but if you've done this before, you got a little experience with shopping for loans under your belt or you've owned some homes before and you refinanced a few times and you already know that you've got one company that you're almost definitely going to go with. Let's say it's the brokerage that did your loan. You, you, they did a fantastic job for you. You, you like the person that you work with. Your mortgage loan originator is extremely knowledgeable, etc., etc. So you're already going to use them. And uh, you just want to check one more place. You don't want to go through with, uh, you know, doing three places. You want to check just one more place. Sure, that's fine. You feel comfortable doing that. Definitely go ahead and do that if that's what you feel comfortable with. My suggestion is do a dissimilar company. Shop at a dissimilar company. For example, you're already with uh, the brokerage. Check out a lender. So you compare compare the brokerage that you are already set to shop with against uh, a lender or against a bank. Don't uh, go with um, 
you know, the same uh, company. Again, the whole idea is to introduce the variety to make sure that you are getting the best deal possible. All right, so that would be it. Yes, you can use this method with, with two. If you're already for certain, uh, the one that you're with is gonna be one of the places that you shop at and you don't feel like shopping at three places, all right? Now, let me toss in one more uh, little thing. Not a curveball, just one more thing. For those of you who don't mind the shopping, so let's say you do, you shop at the three companies, the brokerage, the bank, and the lender. And let's just say you decided that the lender was the, the, the best one. Not only did they have the best pricing, uh, you got the best feel from the mortgage loan originator that we spoke with. Uh, he or she said all the right things when you asked the, the questions, their website, advertised the rates, etc. All the boxes were checked. Uh, they had the best pricing. Um, when you compare it the uh, loan estimates, which we're going to get into in the next chapter, um, uh, and you decided to go with the lender. You can take it one more step further if you want to make sure. Uh, and that is you can compare that lender to another lender. So in other words, you've already discovered that the lender was the best between the brokerage and the bank and the lender. You discovered that the lender ended up having the superior pricing. They're the best one to go with. So just to be sure you want to check out one more company, you check out another lender. So essentially you're comparing the best to another uh, like type of company. So that's if you want to take it just that extra step further. The same would apply for the bank. Let's say the bank ended up being the best out of the three. You compare that bank to another bank. And same thing with the brokerage, of course. If that brokerage ended up being the best out of the three, you just want to make 100% sure. So you check that brokerage out against one more brokerage just to be sure. All right. So that was just two little modifications on what I've been saying this entire time. I've been saying, you know, shop the three, but if you are already certain about one of them that you want to go with and you don't want to take the time to shop all three, you can just shop one additional company. So a total of two companies you shop. Or on the other hand, if the three is no problem and you want to make sure on top of that, you can do four of them. Uh, shop the three, get the best one, and then shop that one against another light company just to make sure. And that's the, uh, the process of choosing the companies that you are going to shop at. So now all you have to do is see who has the best pricing. And uh, you're going to do that with the official loan estimate. And that is what I am going to cover in the next chapter. All right. And um, if you had just stumbled across this video, just joined us. This is one video in a series of videos that are part of a complete home loan shopping course, how to properly shop for a home loan. Uh, this outline next to me here is uh, in the description of this video and it is hyperlinked. So you can go back and catch up on what you missed or jump to any part of the course that uh, you would like to. All right. So this wraps up the uh, final uh, section in chapter four. Thank you so much. And I will see you shortly on the next video.